Hey friends, today I want to show you one of my favorite plugins for Final Cut. It's called Parallax Pop and it's by FX Factory and Stupid Raisins. This plugin has everything that I love. It's super on trend. It's got glass panel effects. It's got gradients. It's got cool little shapes and textures. Parallax Pop also comes with six animating titles that really complement these filters and it's all very customizable so i love it for so many of my clients because i can make my video clips look super affected or really subtly affected and i love that a lot i want to show you how it works but before i do i want to tell you that fx factory is partnering with me on this video and because of that they're offering you guys a 10 percent discount if you use this promo code because these filters build in and out i'm going to apply them to a connected clip on my storyline. So let's head on over to my bin. There's so many different options with these filters. And then on top of that, you can customize them a lot. So let's play with this one angles too. I'm going to drop it over my connected clip. And right away, you can see what it does. I've got glass panels. I've got textures, drop shadows. There's a lot going on there and it builds in and out. Let me show you. So that's what the default settings look like on this filter. Let's get into that inspector window and play around a little bit. So you can turn on or turn off the build in or build out effect. You can work in draft mode. So just watch the screen there. When I turn on draft mode, you see a lot of the different effects kind of stop applying so I can work faster. Um, I don't have to worry about rendering as much. I'm gonna turn that off though so we can see exactly what we're doing. The other thing you can do is flip the perspective of your effect, depending on what your preference is or how you're framed. I kind of like the original way. I think it matches like the angle of her elbows better. And I can also play with where the clip sits on the X or Y axis if I need to. But this one looks pretty good to me. Um, and I can obviously change the scale too. Next up, each one of these filters has a different color gradient, but of course you can customize that as well. I'm actually gonna get rid of this dark green. I'm gonna move this blue down and I'm gonna make this red a little more pink. You can change the settings from within the gradient and you can change the opacity as well. So it can look more or less natural depending on your taste. I'm gonna collapse the gradient settings. And now let's focus on texture opacity, this slider here. Now, if you look, if I dial it all the way up, you can see texture and noise in the frame. Do you see that? If you don't like that and you wanna keep things simpler, you can turn it down. I'm going to have it kind of a little on the lower side, but still on. Next up is shapes. So right now you're not seeing much in the way of shapes, but if we go look later in the clip, here we go. You can see the shapes that are used in this particular version of our plugin. There are these little cross shapes. You can of course change the color of those. You can change the opacity so they're more subtle. You can change the size of the shape. And so in this case, the size isn't the actual size of these crosses. We'll get to that, but it's how like tight, tightly uh, collected the crosses are together. So we'll put them like here. You can change the width of the lines. So they're more bold and you can change the size. So they're bigger or smaller. And then of course you've got the drop shadow of your glass panel. So I'm gonna turn it down so you can see what it looks like if those are off. And you can pump them up to get more depth within your glass panel. So this middle panel looks like it's further back than the rest. Of course you can adjust the blur, you can adjust the distance, you can adjust the color, the angle, all the different you know adjustments you would expect to make in a drop shadow can be done here. Now that's how these filters are designed to be used, but I'd like to use them in a little bit of a different way as well. I like the idea of seeing my shot full screen, au naturel with no filters on it, and then having the filters build in over the shot. So let me show you how I do that. It's very simple. So let's go back to the original clip that we were working with. 
and let's have it on our primary storyline. Now I wanna duplicate this clip. So to do that, I'm gonna hit Option and then click and drag my clip on top of itself. So I've got two versions of my clip. And then what I'm going to do is trim the top clip so it's shorter than the one underneath. Now, in order to get the build in and build out effects on your clip, the shot needs to be long enough for it to do both. So I'm gonna keep this about four seconds. And let's pick rectangles two. And let's render it out and I'll show you how it looks. And that's kind of a fun effect if you really like your shot or you need to show your viewers something important in the shot, but you still wanna give it a cool impact, I really love doing that. Now, if your top clip is too short, you won't be able to use the build out effect with these filters. It just cuts, which isn't really the most attractive look, um, but I did find a workaround. So I'm gonna click that connected clip. And what I'm gonna do is head on over to my transitions filter. Now I happen to have another product from FX Factory because I just love their products. Um, that's called Parallax Transitions. And I'm sorry to tell you, I don't have a discount code for this one, but I would definitely recommend picking it up. This one has been a lifesaver to me um, so many times. And this is one of the ones that I featured in my favorite uh, Final Cut Transition Plugins video. If you didn't see that, I will link to that right here because it's a good one. And this one really complements um, this other parallax pop filter that I have. So what I'm just gonna do is pick one and I'm gonna drag it and drop it. And even though this one was made for FX Factory by Premium VFX and not Stupid Raisins, they just go together. And so you can still get that build in and build out effect that looks really natural. So now let's move on to the titles. I'm gonna show you how the titles work that come with Parallax Pop. As I mentioned, you get six different animating titles. You can find these in the titles and generators uh, tab under your sidebar. I'm just gonna pick titles one. Let's drop it over our clip. So I'm gonna queue up my playhead over my clip so you can see the default settings here. Now we're gonna head on over to the inspector window. We're gonna hit the title inspector tab and you can see all of the different modifications you can make with this title generator from FX Factory. Uh, we can have it build in and build out just like the regular filters that we already looked at. You can change the position, rotation, and scale by modifying these values here. You can change the prism effects. Let me just play with those a little bit. So you can play with the prism distance. So look at what happens around the text here. You can play with the opacity, really make it look kind of uh, affected and you can also keyframe these so you could have the the prism really you know grow in distance and opacity and then go back down to normal if you wanted to the next one is the inner shadow on this top line of text and I actually really like this a lot let me just play with the value so I can show you what it looks like it actually looks like the text is kind of like carved into the video underneath and you can play with the blur on this. You can play with the distance, really make it look like it's got a lot of depth in there. And you can also play with the inner shadow color. So you can pick a color that complements your gradients. Let's just stick with that. And of course the next one is drop shadow. This actually impacts the bottom line of text. So I'll play with that a little bit see this drop shadow on this bottom line of text here. And of course you can change the color of that drop shadow as well. Now, if we wanna modify the text, obviously, so it doesn't say stupid raisins, let's click it right here. And then this brings up our text editor so we can change this. I'm gonna call this spirit race. And then the next line we can modify just by clicking on it. Now you can have both of these lines be two different fonts. If you wanna modify the font, just click on the line you wanna modify, go down to fonts, and of course all your fonts populate. So you can do any fonts that you have in your system using these title generators. 
And if you want to change the color of these fonts, you can do that just like you normally would with any title generator in Final Cut. But I'm going to leave it white because I think it looks great. I really like the way it matches the uh, lines in our Parallax Pop filter. So let's render it out and play it back. So like I said, these Parallax Pop filters come in a lot of different versions. Let's take a look at some of my favorites. Those are great, aren't they? They encompass everything that's so on trend in video right now. I always say video is like fashion. Things go in and out of style. And right now, particles and gradients are very in. And glass panels for me are kind of a timeless look. What do you guys think about that? I think glass panels always give any video a really cool effect. And so I have loved them for a very long time and I will love them in the future. Thank you so much to FX Factory for partnering with me on this video and giving you guys that 10% off Parallax Pop. If you wanna check it out, use my promo code below. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know if there's any other cool plugins you think I should check out on Final Cut and I will see you guys again.